Today I'm going to show you how we change the filter and clean the sleeve for our Viqua S8Q-PA UV water filter. So here's our setup here. Um, when I pump into our tank, I pump through a 30 micron filter and then when it comes up here it goes through a 5 micron filter and then through this Viqua UV filter. The nice thing about this filter is it has a counter on it so when you install it it starts out with 365 days here and then it'll drop down to in our case we got one day left so it's time to uh, change this thing so first thing you want to do is unplug it okay so we've killed the power now you want to make sure you drain the filter in my case I have different shut off valves and I can open this valve and drain it out and I can shut off the uh, main here so it doesn't keep feeding water through there. So I've done that and I've drained it now I'm gonna take this thing apart. Okay so we're gonna remove the top here and it's got two little little pieces that you just push in and then that pulls up and the lamp is stuck to it so you want to hold on to that lamp so it doesn't fall. Now we've unplugged it. Okay, so we remove the lamp. Now you unscrew this little top cap. Now you want to unscrew this bottom piece and you got to be really careful that you don't let that glass sleeve slide out of there. So just as you unscrew it, keep some pressure on it, keep it lifted and slowly let it out. And then you'll see the glass here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the little O-ring on here. And then I'm gonna push it up and you got to stick your finger in the top and try to guide the glass through the top hole and then once you've got a hold of that thing just remove the sleeve very carefully so now I'm gonna soak a rag with some white vinegar here and I'll use this white vinegar on the rag to clean up this glass tube here. You can see the gunk on there. It comes off really easy and uh, I guess depending on what you're running through your pump. but Mine's a little dirty and it's coming off real easy. So I'm going to go in and clean this off with some uh, clean water that I put in a jug before I disconnected the filter. So we'll just get it rinsed off. Okay, so this is kind of tough to film this part, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick the glass sleeve back in here, and then I'm gonna put my hand, my finger down in the bottom hole and wait till I fill that glass sleeve, and then I'm gonna guide it through the hole and then I'm going to hold that on there and put the O-ring on and then uh, we'll screw that cap with the screen with the uh, spring back on there. Okay, so I'm sliding the glass sleeve through the top and I'm putting my finger down here so I feel that glass sleeve come down. Okay, now I let it stick out just a little bit and I'm going to put the rubber o-ring on there okay now I'm gonna have to stick my finger in the top hole and line it up again so it goes up through the top okay now I push that up in there and I want to get the spring on Sometimes it's really tricky to get that glass to set 
down in here right so I'm gonna grab that again guide it through the top with my finger again let it come down into that little tray is probably a better way to do it then screw that on all right so before you touch this bulb you want to have some rubber gloves on or some new clean gloves because you do not want to get any oil or dirt on this bulb so in my case I've got some new gloves And you want to make sure you keep track of those O-rings that are in there. All right. And this is going to be the top. Because you've got your little plug-ins that the cap plugs into. So these extra O-rings, um, I could have used them to replace the ones that were in there. They looked okay, so I'm going to hang on to these for the next time, and uh, I'll just install the lamp. So, again, plugs are at the top. Okay, so I found it's easier to keep the uh, glass bulb out while you put the cap on because you've got to match up these little uh, plugs to the bulb and they're at different heights so the smallest one on the plug cap goes on the tallest one on the bulb. Okay once you've got that seated then just lower down slowly Clip it in, you'll hear it click, and we're ready to go. So now I'm going to plug it back in. And you want to push down the button on the bottom of the unit on the side here and hold that button down while you plug it in. And you'll see it says reset. and then it's back to 365, so we're good for another year. While I'm at it, I'm gonna change my five micron filter, and uh, it's a good time for you to do that as well if you're working on your system. All right, hopefully that helps somebody out if you're looking to change your Viqua filter. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down, and subscribe to the channel for more content, and. Uh, for Jade Almost Homestead, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.